So in Romans 8, uh, there's a really famous passage that a lot of people love. And I'll just read a little bit of it. it. Just says, can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute in danger or threatened with death? And then it goes on to say, I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today or our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. My mom had been battling stage four cancer for like two and a half years. And we started getting news and then more news and then more news after tests and tests and her continuing to feel worse and worse and worse that this was not going to end up well. And so over the course of three months, uh, well, four months, and, and even in a larger scale, really, over a course of like two and a half years, I just saw my mom deteriorate. <clears throat> this woman who was strong and full of passion and devotion and love just wither away because of this horrible disease. And it'll shake you to the core. Um, I love my mom. She was an amazing woman. And, um, you know, when you walk through these things, when you walk through these, these horrible circumstances, you either begin to really trust that God is who he says he is, or you start to fall away. And so I was just sitting at the piano, angry. I was angry with God, wanting to believe these words in Romans 8. And so I just, I kept singing. Um, even death can't separate us. Even death can't separate us. Even death can't separate us. You, you promised. <clears throat> and it was a song that I couldn't finish. I couldn't really even get past that chorus. <clears throat> and so a couple weeks later, my mom is getting worse and worse. And I sat in, in one of our offices with, with Zach and Melissa, and we came up with these, this list of things that can't separate us from God. And, and we took some of them from Romans 8. No kingdoms, no powers, no hatred, no sin, no sickness, no death, no cancer, no pain. Not our future, not our past, not our present. Nothing can separate us from God. And, and really, if I'm honest, a lot of these times I'm, I'm trying to sing these songs as, as prayers to make myself remember and believe what I know to be true, to go from my head to my heart so that my life can be an example of what these words mean. And so maybe for you, hopefully, these words mean something to you. As we sing this chorus, as we sing these words, that even death, the worst thing that we can possibly think of, whatever is the worst thing that you can possibly think of, and not even that can separate you from the love that Christ will always have for you.